Price-wise, you can say that Balrobes are a bit expensive compared to other bodyweight accompanying gear. But it's a piece of equipment that doesn't need any maintenance and it can last you for a lifetime. Depending on your training goals and workout location, you'll have to decide which battle rope is more suitable in your case. Battle rope common lengths are 40 and 50 feet. As to thickness, you'll usually find them in two sizes, one and a half and two inches. Two inch thick battle ropes are heavier and more challenging for your forearm muscles. One and a half inch battle ropes offer a more comfortable grip and allow you to use faster tempo because the rope can undulate in a more fluid manner. Keep in mind that because your battle rope will be folded in half at the anchoring point, the length you'll need space-wise will be half of what your battle rope's total length is. For example, for a 40 feet long rope, you'll need 20 feet of clear space. 40 feet long ropes are usually more suitable for smaller spaces. For example, if you train at home, the basement, or your garage. For men, if you go for a battle rope shorter than 50 feet, go for the 2 inch thick one. Its thickness will make it heavier and tougher to hold, keeping it challenging enough without being that long. If space is not an issue, get the 50 foot long and 1.5 inch thick battle rope. This is my favorite one and it's a rope that will always get the job done for both your neuromuscular and cardiovascular systems. I don't recommend battle ropes that are shorter than 40 feet because most people outgrow them after a few weeks. To sum it up, don't go below 1.5 inches when it comes to thickness or 40 feet when it comes to length. If you train outdoors, you can anchor your battle rope using a simple loop resistance band wrapped around something steady enough. The battle rope can be loud, so I wouldn't recommend setting it up in rooms next to or above neighbors. You'll also need a solid wall to drill a battle rope anchor on. You can find one of these for less than $10 online and it's the best solution for indoor setups. Ideal duration of your sets depends on your training level and the size of your battle rope. For beginners or someone training first time with a battle rope, start somewhere between 15 and 20 seconds. As you build stamina over time, build your sets up to 30 to 45 seconds max. I like this range because it has a hybrid stimulus that combines a little bit of everything. Power, hypertrophy and muscular endurance. A lot of people use ranges as high as 5 minutes, but unless you're training for a specific athletic goal, I wouldn't say that you have to go that high since 45 seconds are enough to push your limits no matter how strong or fit you are. So instead of long sets of draggy, lifeless waves, focus on short, fast, symmetric and explosive waves that reach out all the way to the anchoring point. Try this and you'll see that you'll be all tapped out before a minute ends and for most people that can be even half a minute. If you want to train battle rope by itself, 6 to 8 sets with 90 seconds of rest in between will do. One of the best ways though to incorporate the battle rope in your workouts is using it as a final station in circuits combined with strength oriented bodyweight exercises that target the whole body. This way you'll burn fat, build muscle, improve your lactate acid threshold and build a symmetric, strong and lean physique. All in one workout that doesn't have to last more than half an hour. That's 45 minutes if you take into consideration a proper warm up. In my next video I'll be sharing with you these type of battle rope and calisthenic workouts. Till then though, keep on training.